Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, building experiences that connect, remove friction, and deliver insights. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to our podcast. I'm Ed Kless, and with me today is Denario Bartolini. He is the host of the Remote CEO Show and author of Smart Business Better You, which was released in February of 2023. He left his successful corporate job and opened his own Google Ads agency, which focused on performance-based ads. He scaled quickly, but it wasn't all fun. The intense schedule led to a breakdown where he even needed hospitalization. He recovered with a new mindset, which led to the creation of his podcast and brand. He likes to turn his audiences into business connoisseurs who build thriving online lifestyle businesses. Welcome to the Sage Slot Leadership Podcast, Denario. Thank you very much, Ed. Pleasure to be here. Well, first off, why do you do what you do? I do what I do because I was uh, born in Europe, then I grew up in North America, family members all over the place. And after I started my uh, career, um, I realized that even though I was very successful there, I was not really able to spend time with the people I loved most. And so the very first thing that I did on my first year, really like working instead of doing what everybody else does, which is try to advance in their corporate jobs once they're there, my, my goal was how do I find a way out so that I can work and be productive, but from wherever I want in the world. So tell me a little bit about your book, Smart Business, Better You, which as I said was released in February of this year. What led you to write, write, write the book? So the reason why I wrote this book is because it's an entry point to my coaching program, my consulting services. And the idea is that uh, I really outline what we do uh, when people work with us. And uh, there's five different areas that we focus on. The first one is mindset, of course, because when you build a lifestyle business is not exactly a normal business, business, so to speak. You're not just chasing profits and maximizing profits or maximizing sales. You're there to actually enjoy uh, something else that's going on outside of your business life, whether it be family, a sport, or traveling, whatever it is. And so we start with 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 mindset. Then we get into brand recognition, in order for us to make sure that we don't have to work around the clock to fulfill services and or sell products. We want to be able to build a bigger brand so that we can charge more for what we do and make a bigger impact at scale. And then we get into the sales and lead generation part of the book that talks about how to automate it and how to be as an effective salesperson so you can close as many deals as possible if you're getting on the phone or convert as many clients as possible uh, when people land on your website. Then we get into remote team building, which is really what fuels this entire structure here because without a remote team, you wouldn't be able to work only 25, 30, 35 hours. You would have to probably work 70 hours like most entrepreneurs do. Um, and, uh, And then and the fifth area is uh, is lifestyle design. So when everything, when this machine is automated and it's working for you, and you're making the amount of money that you uh, that, that's allowing you to live your lifestyle, what are you going to do with that extra time? Right. A lot of people think that they're going to sip, you know, pina coladas on the beach under, you know, a coconut or uh, under like a like under a coconut tree. But reality is that after a couple of months, we've done that with my wife, and after that, <laughs> we were like, okay, we got to do something else. And so there's a whole point of lifestyle design. What are you going to do with those extra hours that you've gained in your life? Are you going to spend them with your family? Are you going to follow again, pursue another passion, do something else with it? And so this is uh, really what the book is all about. Well, let's jump back to the first one, because I, I think that that might be the one that, that most people struggle with, and that is mindset. Because when you go to build a business, you're usually thinking, okay, the, the word, uh, we've got to take this to scale. What, yeah. why, 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 what's, why do you have to, and what are the ways that you, you need to, to change your mindset around that? So there is a lot of content online, and by no, by no means I'm saying that it's wrong. Uh, it's just not the type of content that we use to scale a lifestyle business. So when you go online and you look, you know, like how to grow a business and everything else, um, generally speaking, people are talking about just sell as many, you know, products or services as possible, then have a great exit or sell your, no, sell your business or whatnot. So that's not really the point of a lifestyle business. So I consider myself an entrepreneur, but again, a lifestyle entrepreneur. And so there is also another misconception 
misconception that you can choose whether to work 20 hours a week and be a, a, a remote CEO or work 70 hours a week and be a normal entrepreneur. Reality is that to set up your lifestyle business, it's almost like there's going to be the big hump at the beginning. The, you, you cannot, you cannot uh, skip that, right? You have to work those 60 hours a week at the very beginning. You get to set up those systems. Actually, I always say to everyone, the very beginning, expect to work even harder than a quote unquote normal entrepreneur because not only you're trying to grow a business, but you're also trying to build extra systems, okay, to support this entire uh, venture while you're not around. But once you hire the right people, you're going to have a few virtual assistants and then a couple of, you know, an operations manager and whatnot, customer success manager. And then once that's set up, that's when you really can scale back and figure out what am I going to do? Again, some people may want to start another business, which is totally fine. Some people may just focus on fitness or open a blog or whatever they do. And so the mindset part of the book really lays out this, like before you wake up in the morning or before you, you, you really set up your plan, you need to ask yourself, what do I want from this? Because a lot of people get lured into, you know, the make money online world by people with Lamborghinis and huge mansions. I don't think you're going to be able to do that if you want to build a lifestyle business. But what you can do instead is live a life that's true to your to your lifestyle. Again, whatever that is, right? If you want to travel, you're definitely going to have enough money to travel. If you want to buy several, you know, properties and start getting some sort of like a like a passive income from from your properties, you can do that as well. But the point here is that uh it's not about again maximizing the amount of sales and revenue, but it's about balancing what you want in life and try to find a way to fuel that lifestyle with your business. Is there any tie-in to the the price structure of what it is that you do? Where do you, do you do you want to see do, build something that say is more of on a subscription based pricing, or does that not really matter? It really depends on what kind of business you want to build. There's there's two different ways that you can go about it. I mean, there's several ways. Uh, subscription based would be very good if you have a mid ticket item anywhere between five hundred to fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. You definitely want to do subscription for at least a few months. If you can get away and are good, really at selling high ticket, then you could be okay with just having high ticket sales, like a, you know, like a one sale high ticket, a ten grand sale or a fifteen grand sale can go a long way. Whereas a five hundred dollar sale one time is definitely not enough. You would need much bigger, you know, um, much, much more scale for that, of course. Uh, but we have, seen, we have helped and, you know, I've been an Amazon seller. I had an agency, I have an agency, I'm a consultant. So I've been in, you know, product service and, and, uh, and, and consulting as well. And, um, it works in every single case. You just need to make sure that again, the numbers make sense for what you want to do with your life. And we have an exit question that we ask all of our guests, and that is, who is a hero of yours and why are they a hero? So I, w- I would, I've been, before we even start recording, I said, I need to think about it. I think at this point, the person that really, I think my mother has been one of the most influential people in my life because when I first moved out, um, she was the person that really helped me figure out what I wanted to do. And without her, like, I mean, my father as well, but like my mother was the main person that was there to let me uh, understand, you know, like you can do whatever you want. You can travel the world, you can move away, but at the same time, um, make sure that you keep family first. And and that's really what this entire, uh, you know, the book and my business and the lifestyle business that I've created is all about. I have a beautiful two-year-old married and I, and I love my life. And I think it's because, you know, I was still by a very early age uh, that those were the most important things in life. And lastly, De Niro, how can somebody get a, hot, a hold of you? Absolutely. People can go to denierob.com, D-E-N-I-E-R-O-B.com. They'll be able to find everything there. All right. De Niro Bartolini, the host of the CEO show, remote CEO show, and the author of Smart Business, Better You. Thanks so much for being a guest on this H Thought Leadership Podcast. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Review and subscribe by searching your podcast player of choice for Sage Thought Leadership Podcast.